Hey YouTube, this is Facia and I am Simply Lavish at Home. We are in the thick of wedding season, so if you're a bride and want an easy, inexpensive, but super glam way to display your cake, I got you. Check it out. You'll only need a few items to complete this project, and that is the foam blocks from the Dollar Tree, a glue gun and sticks, the flowers of your choice, a ruler, something level or flat, a sharpie, and a piece of cardboard cut to the size of your stand. So the procedure is really easy. You just take the glue gun, unwrap, and glue together your foam blocks. Essentially, that's it. Um, you'll see periodically I'll go in with the level to make sure that all of them are lining up perfectly because if one goes askew or is not lined up next to the other one precisely, then it'll throw off all of the other ones. It won't sit level. And this is for a cake, so you want to make sure that everything is level so the cake can go and sit on securely and flat. Initially, I thought I was going to need some sticks to create some more reinforcement for the cake, but it turned out really sturdy, so I did end up not needing the sticks. What I did also do is, is come in with my ruler and measure out the spot in which the cake was going to go, because I wanted to make sure it was centered and I leave that space in the middle so that the cake can sit down and flush right on top of my board. So how I determined the size of the board is I knew the cake was going to be 10 inch square. So and I know I wanted at least a 2 inch border all around the cake. So these blocks are 4 by 4 by 3. So I just made it a 16 inch square. So that way I had a nice thick border of flowers around the bottom and plenty of space for the cake to go on. So you that's how you would determine the size by the size of the cake that you want to go in and then allow for a, at least a couple of inches to go all around. And for these particular blocks because they are not perfectly cubed you want to make sure all the dimensions are going the same way otherwise it'll throw off. Now you'll see here that I am just building up the flowers. So I am, these are again flowers from the Dollar Tree that I cut the stems off of and you um, just leaving probably about two inches or so of stem that I can just push right into that floral foam and that is the dry foam. There's no rhyme or reason. Again, I usually just fill in where I think it's right and make sure that I have a variety of flowers. This can also look beautiful with just one type of flower. But this was a tropical wedding. This um, was actually going to the Dominican Republic. So another reason why we're using, instead of fresh flowers, we're using artificial. And it was really light to transport in that way. So you see, I, I just, I'm just cutting and filling in, making sure all the gaps are filled in with flowers. We, I had a special request to add in those purple and turquoise flowers um, to incorporate more of the colors of the wedding because it was a turquoise and purple and a lot of whites to keep the look fresh. Now this is one of those situations where I had to let go. I, um, they wanted me to do the cake stand for them but I wasn't available for the wedding I wasn't able to go so I had to make the stand and send it on which was very hard to do because as you know that some things just don't go as you're planning if you are not actually there to watch so in the end the the way they set up the cake wasn't exactly how I envisioned it. It still turned out beautifully and you'll see a, a picture of that at the end. Um, it, it turned out lovely but it wasn't exactly how I had imagined it. So, oh there is one other thing that you'll need for this if you don't already have some wire snips. That is the best means of cutting artificial flowers because they do have wires in the stem so a wire snip is a really easy way to cut that now I didn't get it on video but the way after I created the whole thing I decided that I, I just felt like I needed some more reinforcement so I cut a piece of cardboard 
to the exact dimensions of the stand and glued that to the bottom just so it had a little more stability when someone needed to lift it up so just in case for some reason the glue didn't hold it it did hold nicely but that there was something that was just one piece that all of it can sit on rather than you know this particular piece is several blocks glued together I wanted something that was just one solid piece of material that can you know add a little reinforcement to the bottom of my cake stand so just fill in as you see fit again this would be beautiful with one type of flower in whatever color that you choose to make it and really easy to make I think I'll probably use about 20 or so dollars worth of flowers and 16 of those um, flown blocks so in all probably somewhere around the 36 to 40 dollar range for making this particular project so inexpensive high impact and this is how um, it was staged at the wedding not quite what I was expecting I was expecting the cake like I said to sit down but nonetheless very beautiful I included some extra of those um, purple and turquoise flowers initially thinking that they would cascade them down the side of the cake um, but what they ended up doing was really cute and the bride was happy so let me know what you think give this video a thumbs up and leave your comments below if you are not already hit that subscribe button and the little bell that lets you know every time simply lavish post a video thank you so much for watching until next time here's to living simply lavishly cheers